Welcome to TikTok Shop Insiders Podcast, your source for actionable news, trends, and strategies. If you want to build a thriving brand or creator presence on TikTok Shop, this is your essential listen. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to the TikTok Shop Insiders Podcast, your source for the latest news and strategies for TikTok Shop. I am your host, Ivan, and this is my good buddy, Pat. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? What up, man? It's been a while. Yep, yep. Our last one was recorded about a month ago. Um, extremely busy on our side. How's it yeah, been on your side? Same, man. It's just nonstop. Everything's like kind of rolling in, whatever you're doing with, uh, you know, sales calls. And I mean, the, the leads coming off, hopefully from this podcast is uh, bearing fruit. And so yeah. it's it's definitely been busy. Yeah, I think I emailed you or messaged you Oh, on Friday, and I was like, "Hey, we have a, another potential client. This one's, you know, pretty awesome." And then you're like, "What did you say?" Like again? What was that <laughs> for? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I yeah. can't believe it. I mean, it's it feels like there's new clients rolling in weekly at this point. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, just the status on the podcast. We haven't been on in a while. But it is reaching 14,000 downloads. Um, and I owe you that dinner. I think it's on the calendar. So, you know, thanks yeah. everyone for downloading and supporting us. Yes, for sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, two, two dads with three kids, it's hard. It's hard for dads in general, I think, just to schedule anything. I think our wives get together more than we do. Uh, they have a monthly sure. dinner, but we never get to do it. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if we scheduled something, but I think they did. So yeah, um, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, two dads with, with three kids get the schedule pretty busy. So I'm glad we could find a time. I'm going to say a couple of weeks. But... Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. So up to news, like what are some latest things that we've seen online? Um, something I have here is a topic that I got to debate frequently about, but it's, should you offer free shipping on your TikTok shop? Right. So let's say you have, you know, just setting the table here a little bit. You have a, Twenty dollar product and it costs five dollars to five dollars to ship. Do you price it at twenty five dollars and then kind of market it as free shipping, or do you you know have it at twenty dollars and then charge five five dollars shipping afterwards? Um, you know, I have my thoughts behind it. And I know Pat's, so I'll describe mine a little bit. But I kind of lean on the sides, and I've seen I saw this LinkedIn post. I wish I had it, but she was basically saying that um, all the Asian TikTok shops, 99.9% of the top Asian TikTok shop have pricing after. It's not included in the price. It's an add-on price at the end at checkout. And the thought behind there, it's like, okay, well, at first glance, you're going to see a lower price, right? You're going to see that $20 price point, and then you get charged shipping at that point. Mm -hmm. And so it's like an afterthought, if you will, right? It's getting you put it, it's getting you to click the link, right? Oh, it's a relatively cheaper product at the competition. It's, you know, cheaper product in general. Um, let me add it to cart and then kind of figuring out the cost of shipping afterwards. And so that's my, my leading thought. There's a reason why, I mean, maybe it's also cultural, but in Asia, why mo majority of the TikTok shop listings have a shipping cost uh, as an addition at checkout. So that's my thought process. Um, and then Pat, I'll let you share why you think shipping should be included. Yeah. I mean, we've done it both ways. We had a client that tested with free shipping and saw their conversion rates take off. Right. I think the main variable is the price of your product, right? If you have a product that's $10 and you're charging $5 for shipping, that doesn't look as great. Like who wants to pay an extra 50% on their product price um, for, for shipping? Right. If the product is like $30, right? If you're under, I, I, I would imagine it's probably in the 10 to 15% total costs of your product is your shipping, then you might be okay. But we've definitely seen that free shipping elevates the, the conversion rate on products from, from brands that have tested on and off. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I really think that's probably the main factor is what is the price point of, of your product and how much of shipping um, is, is of that price. Yeah. I think also is testing, right? This is maybe obvious, but like testing it, like let's go through some period of including free shipping and seeing where that lo lies. And then let's change the, the shipping to be charged at, at checkout. Um, you know, to Pat's point, there was a stark difference when we changed it to free shipping. We saw the 
um, you know, the, the videos getting better performance, we saw, you know, conversion rates get better, et cetera. So, you know, although I have my, you know, best guess, ultimately you never really, really know until you test it. Right. And kind of going back and forth and making sure that, you know, it, it, it could be category wise, et cetera, but there's no way to know until you really test it. Yeah. Yeah. Testing is really the only way to know. Right. Um, <clears throat> up next, this is kind of like a, a story that I want to share. So someone on LinkedIn reached out to me. Actually, I think I saw their post and they're like selling us TikTok shop seller accounts for $1,000. And I was like, okay, this is very interesting and intriguing. It's like, okay, well I know like in, I think what the, the what I'm saying here is like international people who want to sell on us TikTok shop, they cannot right? by TOS, right? You have to be a US, you have to show your driver's license. And I'm sure everyone listened to, listening to this podcast has gone through hoops and hurdles to get on TikTok shop. But anyway, there's, you know, a growing community of international sellers that want to sell on us TikTok shop and they can't because it's international or the uh, TikTok TOS. But there's this guy that reached out to, or that I reached out to. And I was like, Hey, I'm interested in the, in the account. So he's, he's like a thousand dollars. You can have a us TikTok shop seller account. Um, so that was pretty weird. Uh, not weird, but like, it's kind of, I, I wanted to share it to kind of, set the landscape of maybe how fortunate we are on the U.S. side of being able mm -hmm. to sell. Like if you're able to, why not? Um, but also like there's all kinds of nefarious, weird things going on in TikTok, right? If there's money to be made, people will find a way. So, right. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the main signal, right? Is people willing to sell it at that price. Somebody's buying it at that price. So yeah. people are, are clamoring at the opportunity to get a, a U.S. TikTok shop seller account. So, for the brands that are here, you should definitely be on it. It's, it's definitely a signal that you should be on TikTok shop. Yeah, I thought it was pretty weird. There's a, a ton of other stuff, but uh, that was, that was kind of mm -hmm. cool. I was like, yeah, just part of this podcast is really just exposing people to what's going on, right? Um, yep. uh, the, the atmosphere on TikTok. Yep. So on to the main part of the, the podcast, and where I really wanted to dive deep into the bulk of this whole TikTok shop strategy, which is the affiliates and how do you reach affiliate outreach at scale? How do you get the product to, or how do you first kind of get on the radar of the affiliates and then how do you choose them and how do you get them to make, you know, high quality videos, right? Um, <clears throat> and another thing is TikTok shop, their landscape is changing weekly, right? You get, you know, I think beginning of the year, you could, any seller could reach out to unlimited affiliates, right? You can send thousands and thousands of messages a day and then it becomes a numbers game. Like just send out tens of thousands of messages and then inevitably you're going to get feedback from, you know, a certain percentage of that. And then you can kind of math your way into getting videos created. And that's, that was little as six months ago, right? Yeah. Um, I think, huh, correct me if I'm wrong, like three months ago or two months ago, they had a first round of limitations to your restrictions, right? I, do you remember what that figure was, Pat? Of I forget. I think it was fifteen hundred in GMV, and it like allowed you to send five thousand messages. I forget. I mean, it's yeah. changed so, so much that yeah. So it's like kind of like a first level of 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 limitation, mm -hmm. and that's you know what we were working with, and it was still good, right? You just kind of had to you know, less numbers and kind of operate. Well, we had a, we had a workaround, right? We, we couldn't send DMS directly anymore, but we could still have unlimited targeted collaborations. At the time. Exactly. Yeah. So the thing is like, okay, if I'm limiting DMS, let me just send unlimited targets and then kind of get around that numbers game and go from there. Uh, as of two weeks ago, maybe a week, uh, maybe two weeks ago, two weeks plus, uh, they have a TikTok has a new uh, restriction, right? And so it goes a little like if you have between, zero to $2,000 in monthly GMV, you are able to sell or you're able to send out 2,000 messages per week. If you have 2,000 GMV in the last 30 days, you're able to send 7,000 messages per week, right? So for me, the magic number is 2,000 GMV in the last 30 days, you can send 7,000 messages. And then once you get to five or 50,000 GMV in the last 30 days, you can have unlimited messages sent um, messages and target collaborations, right? And so this is all to say TikTok is getting strict and probably will continue to get more strict in their affiliate outreach, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll pause there, but like looking at the other side of it, the affiliates are getting basically like an infinite amount of messages per day. Mm -hmm. Their inbox is probably like ever 
forever filled, um, especially that high quality, you know, creatives. I know your wife, like, what do you, what is, what is, uh, to seeing in this in yeah this it's it's basically that like it's she has such a hard time even finding any new messages so you just to get a message through to her you just happen to you just have to happen to send a message right before she looks at her inbox otherwise she's never going to see it right 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 and so it's like you know that's one part tiktok is ever changing their outreach guidelines and what's allowed and so it's making it harder and harder and it will continue to get harder and harder right because i still see these affiliates complaining about getting you know outreach sellers. yeah i mean their their overall goal is just to clean up the marketplace right you have like these small yep. sellers who you know sell garbage they don't want it to turn into timu part two essentially right. right so they're trying to clean up all these small sellers who are spamming all these creators um and this is their mm-hmm. their method of doing that right but in that kind of policing it makes it hard for these cold start brands to 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 start up right their limitations are 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 maxed out right and so you know if you have zero sales you're you can only send so many uh messages out you can only send so many target collabs um and so it makes it very difficult right and you know you don't have a lot of sales so these affiliates are looking at your product listing and seeing you know low units sold low number of views you know I, you know, it, they're less likely to uh, kind of respond like that they're interested. Right. Mm-hmm. And so coupling that with the limited number of um, messages that you could send, that number kind of dwindles and dwindles fast for these cold star brands. Right. And these are legitimate brands that we work with. Um, you know, lots of Amazon sales, millions of dollars in Amazon sales, millions of dollars in retail and dot com sales, but TikTok's a different beast. Right. And so, yeah, all to say, like, it's just making it harder and harder. Right? And so kind of like my brain has been working nonstop on how to kind of get around this or, or, or fix this, right? Yep. Um, can you dive into, you know, we're in this difficult situation of limited, you know, uh, sends, uh, messages that we can send out and uh, limited conversations we can have. Like, what do we do to kind of go around that? Yeah, I mean, we had this debate a long time ago when we were talking about whether we blast everybody up front or kind of take a curated approach. Now it's forcing us to take a more curated approach. Like we have to uh, be, what's it called? Like you, you have to budget those messages messages that we send out each week. Um, right. To target like, you know, the best people. Uh, main thing is, you know, we can, the, the one thing you, you can do is, reach out to affiliates that you have existing relationships with and get them to create more content um, right. or, or find a flat fee, right. To create more content. And I think that's, that's kind of an approach that makes sense because, you know, you know, the, the creator has created content, good content before that has uh, sold, uh, sold units in the past. And so you have to maximize all of those relationships as yeah. much as you can. One thing I have here also is the A-B testing of your DM scripts, right? And so mm-hmm. since you have limited number of messages to send out, you want to make sure that the messages you do send out have the maximum impact, right? And so what we've been doing is including um, in our in our kickoff call uh, to the brands of like, what are some accolades that you guys have, right? Mm-hmm. Are there any celebrity endorsements that we can include in our DM script, right? Um, you know, uh, what are some sales history items that you have, right? Sold out on Amazon three times. Like that's going to be better than someone, you know, saying, you know, if a brand reaches out to them and be like, Hey, try out our new, you know, multivitamin, uh, you'll get 30% commissions. Well, what if you say, you know, Oprah's favorite uh, multivitamin, you get 30 commissions. So like it's going to hold more weight with the affiliates, right? Yeah. So making your message even that much more impactful, right? Or, you know, 5,000 five-star reviews on Amazon. Like the affiliate's going to want to promote that product versus like, yeah. Yeah, right? So yeah, when you don't have those units sold to, to lean on, those are the accolades that you, you kind of have to to bring up to to the creators. Right, especially the, like the cold star brands. And that's what we've been living in recently, right? Like these brands that come to us, they want to start on TikTok shop or improve their, you know, TikTok shop. So having those accolades is super important. Yeah, DM script testing is probably... Uh, a, a, definitely a big piece of it because you have so little to work with. So you have to maximize every, every touch point with the, uh, the creator now. Right. Um, well, we, another thing that we uh, fortunately have is a lot of affiliates that have done great work for us. Um, and we've kind of funneled them into a discord group where we say, Hey, you know, we have other brands that we work with high quality brands. Um, 
join our Discord group to get higher uh, commissions. Um, kind of cultivating them, also giving them tips and tricks on how to be better affiliates and just kind of developing that network, right? So we have that at our disposal, as well as email outreach to affiliates, right? So we have a database of 20,000 affiliate email addresses. Uh, we'll reach out to them, you know, with a, with a simple message of, hey, we it's kind of like a DM script, right? Hey, we have this brand, you know, this Accolade, the 5,000 Amazon reviews, Oprah's favorite things, Um are you interested? Most likely, you know, it's kind of like a numbers game as well. Um, most likely they will ghost you or not answer, but there's some that, you know, yeah. that will reach out and, you know, we can kind of get them, add them to the, to the arsenal of affiliates. Right. I mean, so the overall trend you're seeing is you have to figure out a way to reach out to these creators off of TikTok, in right. some way, whether it's Instagram, a Discord, email. Some right. even mentioned like phone numbers and text, like SMS campaigns to, to creators. If you can get them to opt into something like that. Yep. Uh, that's been effective in, in getting communications to these creators as well. Right, right. And so in this initial cutback of scripts or uh, DMs came from TikTok, I thought our whole business strategy was upside <laughs> down and didn't work anymore. I'm like, crap, like, what are we going to do? Um, and it kind of forced me to really think about, like, what's a strategy? What's a long-term I don't want to have to be relying on TikTok allowing us to send um, to, to affiliates. I don't want to have my future uh, in someone else's hands, right? So I was like, I just, I, I don't know, probably the least sleep I, least amount of sleep I've had, but it was like constructive. Like I was just always thinking. So one thing I was like, okay, well, let's put it in our shoes. What I want, what, what, how can I put, you know, the results into to my hands, right? And so with the success of this podcast, uh, TikTok Shop Insiders, I was like, well, what if we make another podcast, but this time focus it on the affiliates, strictly affiliates, right? And so my idea was, let's make a podcast where I interview top affiliates, get their story and get their successes. And also, most importantly, get their strategy, like what works for them, interview them, um, you know, understand what makes them tick and also how they make their videos, right? Um Get that, compile that. Over time, I'll have a library of hundreds of different strategies that you know the the community can can uh, go through and see what works for them. And then I'll have, after time, this database of hungry affiliates that are you know kind of looking for products to uh, promote. Um, no. Couple that with our clients, and now we have like a whole ecosystem where you know TSI clients can now access what I will call affiliate academy affiliates and it'll harmoniously talk to each other. Right. Um, yeah. So that's the, that's the idea. Uh, well, I'll, I'll share one thing um, or Pat, do you have any questions? Like I, I'm. Yeah. I mean, how, how, how has the affiliate interviews gone? I know the, yeah. the goal is to provide value, right? So how, how have they been going with? They've been amazing. I thought of it as kind of just kind of interview and getting their story and kind of like a quick thing, but like, I have to stop and say, like, this is a real life success story. And what I yeah. mean by that is I interviewed everyone that I've been interviewed has been super successful. And what I mean by that is a college student has made five hundred thousand dollars in affiliate commissions in a couple of months. So that's amazing. Gwen, she's amazing. She's been uh, kind of she's listening to this. Awesome. Um but just that story multiplied by hundreds and thousands, right? Yeah. Um, she goes into kind of like how it's changed her life, but most importantly, like what strategies work for her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one thing I learned is like these different courses out there and groups, more than likely, it's just a, 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 an affiliate that is sharing a strategy that worked for them. But it might not work for, you know, person next door. Right. And so what I wanted to do in the community is interview so many different affiliates to get all their different strategies so that like we can create a library that people can pull from and see, Hey, does this strategy work for me? Right. And so, yeah, that interview with her was great because she dives into what makes it work for her. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, I, I think if we, you know, you keep that focus as far as being, you know, what, what's going to give the most value to any affiliate watching this, right? I yeah. think that's going to lead to success because you're able to pull out those strategies that, you know, not only one provide you content, but it provides these strategies for other affiliates that want to be a part of this group, right? And that's right. where 
where your affiliate academy is going to be uh, probably maybe a bit different. I mean, what are what do you think are the main differences with with what you're trying to build versus what's already out there? I know you're part of like I mean, yeah, I'm things. a part of, I'm a part of <laughs> probably all the different affiliate groups, and mostly they're paid. That's the biggest thing. Mm ours is going to be free, right? I'm interviewing, I'm getting these strategies, funneling them into a community, a free community. So that's the biggest thing. There's other groups out there that are like $100, $200 a month or like 5,000 one-time costs or $30 a month. It's like, I'm in, I'm in all of them. Well, not all of them, but I guess majority of them. Um, and I see what, you know, the content. It's like, well, I can make that same exact content and and environment and, and education, but in a free environment, right? And then Obviously, you're going to ask, well, how are you making money? Well, my money is not going to come from the affiliates paying me. It's going to come from the brands who want to participate in this mm -hmm. ecosystem of affiliates, right? Um, and likewise, brands will gladly pay an affiliate for their commissions for high quality uh, affiliates, right? They'll, they'll gladly give that up, right? And so we had the problem of brands not being, re uh, not being able to reach out to affiliates or their you know, outreach is limited. Well, let's generate a community of affiliates that these brands can reach out to. So that was the impetus behind it. Um, you know, some examples also, it's like, okay, so the, in the, the people I've interviewed, some of the examples of the strategies that they use, right? So one of them goes to Shop Plus and Caladata and they search for the latest viral videos. Well, they recreate that viral video. Like they do their best to recreate it. And, you know, if it worked for someone else, it's probably going to work for them. Another strategy that I've learned is like, there's this dude, uh, he puts a, uh, a contentious item in the background and it's, it, it causes a lot of conversation oh, okay. and, and it's not mid and he's just talking about the product, but the product, the, a different thing is in the background. So it causes conversation in the comments, engagement, all that good stuff, more eyeballs, more views. Right. So that's one part. Um, uh, another example, a strategy that someone has is. Well, if one video gets viral in the same, you know, hook, story, call to action, Structure. he makes that same exact video verbatim and yeah. he posts that out 10, oh. 20 times. So it's like if it worked once, it's going to work again. It's just TikTok is going to limit that first one, but you can do more, right? So these are like sure. crazy things I would never think. It's so simple, so easy. You can implement um, I would never yeah. think of, and then that's my part of the podcast is trying to pry these out of these affiliates and yeah, the care reverse, about reverse engineering the TikTok algorithm to like build yeah. content around that. And then we've mentioned that before. TikTok tells you what goes viral, like from a creator search insights, there's a creator yeah. trend tool. You can find out what TikTok, like TikTok wants your video to go viral and they'll tell you exactly the structure. It's, so I think that that strategy of going to find a viral video around the product is brilliant because TikTok yes. already knows that formula works. And if you create a, con a piece of content following that same formula, TikTok's going to be like, oh, this thing has similar attributes. Let's put views behind it because it's probably going to pick up sales. Exactly, exactly right. So anyway, just to recap, you know, we have this need as a seller, as a new, you know, new start seller of being able to reach out to affiliates at scale. Well, the answer is let's create a community. Um, that has a whole bunch of affiliates, right? And the you know this podcast did so is doing so well. Let's make another podcast interviewing um, affiliates. Get the affiliates what they really need, which is strategies on how to you know how they can sell better. Um, compile that you know into a group um, where we can kind of cultivate, give continue to give tips, and you know help them with their uh, affiliate journey. Um, and then the thought there is you know take one part of the tree and combine it with the other and then you have kind of like a, a really big environment here that could kind of feed off each other um so i guess in summary it's called it's it's affiliate academy hq.com uh and yeah just i think it's under construction maybe first first draft online right now but but that's the idea it's creating an affiliate academy community a free one um yeah. that kind of rivals all the other ones that are out there yeah, it's essential. That's definitely the direction that TikTok is taking. Like you have limited messages now. You have right. to maximize every piece of outreach. You don't know what quality of videos are coming back when you reach out to those 2,000 people. So in this academy and this like, you know, affiliate group, it's, it helps. We help, uh, what's it called? Curate that, that creator pool a little bit more. Yeah, and it's kind of, you know, for me, or, you know, you guys are all business owners out there, probably business owners. It's like, now we're creating some kind of moat that, you know, everyone, you know, 
from our podcast, listening to the podcast or LinkedIn content, we're kind of giving all of our tips and tricks away. And it's, that's fine because people are benefiting from it. But like at the end of the day, it's, there's not really a lot of difference, right? We have, you know, our affiliate connections that we have already and, you know, email structures, e- emails that we do maybe better than others. But this is like a huge moment. If we have affiliates in our network that we can call ours, like, well, what do you have now, right? So, you know, combining the, what we have existing with Affiliate Academy, I think it's like the key uh, differentiator for us in the future. So that's what we're looking to build. Yeah, man, it's ever changing, and you're you're good at adapting. So, yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't sleep very much, but I mean, you're oh, man. yeah, it's a good it's a good not good not not sleeping, right? Because it's just I'm just my my brain's uh, activated. Um, right. So, uh, I love that type of stuff. You know that. <laughs> yeah, Amazon sure. back in the day trying to figure out how to you know crack the code or hack hack an SEO algorithm or product launch. That's where I was at, and doing the same exact thing for TikTok shop. So yeah, glad I couldn't. I love this stuff. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, that concludes today's episode. Um, I guess we haven't done this well, but like reminder, leave a review. Um, not that many out there. I know there's a ton of listens, so please leave a review what you guys think. Um, you know, you can find us, uh, the agency side of things at tiktopshopinsiders.com. There's a button there to reach out to brands, uh, for brands to reach out to us. Again, uh, Affiliate Academy, um, if you have someone interested in being affiliates, we'll kind of start populating that soon, affiliateacademyhq.com. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Pat. Yeah, man. It's always a pleasure. All right. Catch everyone later. See you. All right. Bye.